Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are given that the motorcycle is traveling at a constant speed of 60 km per hour. Right, so the velocity is constant and it is equal to 60 km per hour. So we have to change it, uh, the units of this 60 km per hour into meter per second, right? So we have to uh, multiply this with 1000 meters. And one hour is equal to 3600 seconds. Right, so if we multiply this, so the velocity is equal to 16.667 meter per second. Right, and as we know that the since it's a curvilinear motion, so in curvilinear motion, the tangential acceleration is equal to v dot, and since the velocity is constant, so dv by dt is zero. Right, so this means that the that the tangential component of the acceleration is zero. Right. And similarly, as we know that the normal component of the acceleration is v square divided by rho, right? So we know uh, velocity magnitude, but we have to find the radius of the curvature, right, of this path. And here in this particular problem, in this diagram, we are given that y as a function of x, right? So we are given this path equation y square is equal to 2x, right? So whenever we are given this path equation, we can find the radius of curvature by using this uh, equation right so in this equation as we can see that we have the first derivative of the path and the second derivative of the path right with respect to x right so i can write that if if i take the first derivative of this equation right with respect to t right so then this will be 2y and dy by dx right and this will be 2 right so we can write this as 2y and this will be y dot and this is 2 right and from this equation we can write that y dot which is dy by dx is 2 divided by 2y or we can write 1 divided by y right 1 divided by y and from here we can write that y is equal to square root 2x right so now if i take the double derivative of this equation right so then we will have 2y y double dots we will apply the product rule right then plus y dot and then we, we will take the derivative of 2y so the derivative of 2y is 2y dot right so this will be 2y dot square and this will be the derivative of 2 is 0 right so since in this equation d square y by dx square is y double dot right so we have to find the y double dot from this equation right so we can write that 2 y y double dot equals to minus 2 y dot square 2 will cancel out then y double dot is equal to minus y dot square divided by y right so since we want to find the radius of the curvature at x equals to 25 meters right since at point a the motorcycle is at a distance of 25 meters from this origin right so we have to find the value of y at x is equal to 25 meters right so since y y is equal to uh, square root 2 x right so we can find y so this will be 2 into 25 square root right so then if i put this y value in this y dot right so y dot will be equal to 1 divided by square root 2 into 25 is 50 right so this will be square root 50 right so we can calculate this 1 divided by square root 50 so this is 0 0.141 right so y dot is equal to 0 0.141 and this is at x equals to 25 meters right and similarly we will find y y double dot using this equation so y double dot is minus y dot square so y dot is 0 0.141 square and y equals to square root 50 right so we will write this as 50 square root Right, so we can find this using calculator minus 0 0.141 square divided by square root 50. 
So this is equal to minus 2.81 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So minus 2.81 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So now I will put these values in this equation, right? So d this is this is y dot and this thing is y double dot, right? So the radius of the curvature is equal to 1 plus y dot square. So y dot is 0 0.141 square divided by y double dot and the absolute value of y double dot, right? So the absolute value means that we have to write only the positive value, right? So this will be divided by 2.81 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 and then this is to the power 3 divided by 2, right? So this will be the radius of curvature at x equals to 25 meters. Three divided by two is one point five. Divided by two point eight one into ten raised to the power minus three. So the radius of the curvature is three sixty six point five four, right? So I will write three sixty six point five four meters, right? So now, uh, as we know, velocity and radius of curvature both, so we can find the normal component of the acceleration. So the normal component of the acceleration is 16.667 squared divided by 366.54. 16.667 squared divided by 366.54. So this is 0 0.758. 0 0.758 meter per second square. So since the tangential acceleration magnitude is 0, so this means that the magnitude of the acceleration is equal to a n and which is 0 0.758 meter per second square at x equals to 25 meters, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.